Touch it. Look, touch it. No, I don't want to touch, touch it. it. No. Touch it. Bro, he might be preparing to die and become like more something else. No, he already has wings. I want to be touched wings. when I get to die. No, no it's just slipping. Are you sure that's just not a leaf? It's not a leaf, bro. Come on, maybe dead. So how is this moving thing going to work? Tell me, buddy. I, mean, I literally, I wake up and I tell you this morning, I'm like, 30 minutes. It'll be 30 minutes. Uh-huh, and I was like, oh boy. So India, you moved out today. Well, Why'd you decide to move? Because we are middle of a world change of events. Yeah. Every time I move, I always think that, oh yeah, it's super easy. Have an hour. <laughs> Not like Is that, that what you think I roped you into? A little bit. But here's the thing. What are we going to do when there are retreats? Seriously. Yeah, they, they can't have my house. That's pretty much my house. Oh, so you don't live anywhere else now? <laughs> it's okay. I mean, bro, I don't have any plans. No, no, for no. Today, but so. not like. Are we going to? It's already happening. There's an exit. There has to be an exit plan, India. Is there any emotion coming to you right now? The emotion is just get it done. Like it's just focus. Because it took me three weeks to get to this point. You know? And luckily I had a really cool landlord who was like, you can stay there for three months. And I was like, mm, no, not really. This is not what I was planning, Sarah. I thought we had an exit strategy in July. I didn't realize we were all moving in together for good. We are loving community. This is All we've got to do in life is just let go and then let go more until we die, which is the ultimate letting go. Half my like core family is dead. My dad died and my brother died. But now we're gonna be in the presence of everyone as they're like going through their transformation. I don't know. Well, that's this why is I'm not... in the dome right by the this... river. I really didn't know I was living here till the end of the year. Don't even, don't even. We always figure it out. We always, we always... Were... Well, this seems like a goddamn disaster. Oh. Okay, okay, everybody nice and peaceful. Boo! Oh, we're moving now. We're doing our morning cardio. Now, there is so much happening on this property. How are your first two days? Really good. You feeling good? Yeah, well. What's that mean? It's short by this much, dude. That's my brother. This is what my brother wrote to my dad a few days before he died. He was 13 and he died of cancer. Sometimes an eclipse lasts a few seconds and sometimes even a few minutes. But I feel this eclipse will last a lifetime because eclipses that have so much beauty and love in them never die. With love, your son, Alex. And he died a few days later, you know? India, I'm coming. Knock, knock, who's there? Okay. Ooh. Oh, someone moved in for real. I did. Do you like it? I mean, I don't know how you're moving out by July. How did you get that couch this deep in the jungle? Uh, the boys, you know. Boys, boys, boys. Why are we moving out in July? What's happening in July? We have a retreat coming, India. They're not gonna take the entire campus. I said there's a retreat in July and look what Coco did. <laughs> Where's Tim? Probably like in the jungle somewhere. You have a little jungle man, are you in love? Stop. What? All right, that's it for today's vlog. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Get us online at Emilio Institute, at Jake Sasseville, and... If you wanna find out what this machine's doing to me, go to our Patreon. I'm walking back from the dome. India was right. Tim, what are you doing?